Welcome again to another session on problem solving and uh, we have been solving problems related to factor theorem and remainder theorem. So the given question says find without actual substitution the value of the given polynomial. So the polynomial looks very ugly it's very big and uh, the question says you have to find the value of this one right at x equals to 15. Now you can imagine if you put 15 over here then uh, the calculation is going to be little tedious not little it's too tedious right so if you see uh, value of a polynomial you have to find and how do we find out value of a polynomial you simply put uh, x equals to 15 in the given polynomial that is you have to calculate this number 19 times 15 to the power 5 plus 69 times 15 to the power 4 this is multiplication minus 151 times 15 cubed plus 229 times 15 squared plus 166 times 15 and plus 26 now you could have imagined by now that it's really really tedious task and you know to calculate 15 to the power 6 my god so there must be some alternative way and here is where the remainder theorem will come into play so how to do that so basically uh, we'll try to uh, take some factors out of this polynomial let's say this polynomial is fx now from this fx uh, we want to take out the you know um, uh, factors wherein um, or what factor what linear factor basically so I'll, I'll try to take out x minus 15 and then we'll see or basically we'll divide the entire fx by x minus 15 and try to find out the remainder in fact the remainder will be nothing but uh, whatever uh, you know you just put the value x over there in the remainder and that will be the value of the function fx or polynomial fx why let me tell you how so let's say you could write fx as x minus 15 times some gx you don't know the gx right now and finally rx right i can do that uh, we have learned that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so let's say if you divide the given polynomial fx by x minus 15 you would obtain some gx whatever it is and you'll also obtain rx so hence uh, what will be f15 then so f of 15 if you see is nothing but if i put f of 15 here it will become 15 minus 15 times gx plus r15 isn't it right so that is what is you know what will get this will become zero this is zero right so hence f15 is nothing but r15 right so r15 if you divide the given polynomial by x minus 15 clearly right so let's now try to divide so or basically try to extract x minus 15 or rather try to find out remainder okay let's try to find out the remainder of this so how do we do it so uh, let's try to factorize uh, to an extent that we get x minus 15 so look at it carefully how i'm trying to factorize it so x to the power 6 is there so if i need x minus 15 as a factor so don't you think i must have a 15 x to the power 5 here so the moment uh, these two uh, you know so my terms are there in the f after from the first two terms i am extracting these two terms so clearly x minus 15 will be factor of this particular polynomial here small part of that polynomial right now but in the given expression there are 19 x to the power 5 minus 19 minus 15 i have extracted already so how much is left i am left with minus 4 x to the power 5 right so x to the power 5 is taken care of now for minus 4 x to the power 5 i would be needing plus 60 x to the power 4 why because you can see again you can take x to the power 4 common and you'll again get x minus 15 out of these two terms these two terms let it be plus here correct now but there were 69 x to the power 4 so 9 is left so now i will write 9 x to the power 4 so 69 x to the power 4 is taken care of for 9 x to the power 4 i need 15 times 9 that is 135 isn't it i need 135 x to the power 3 so let me take 135 but there were 151 x cube so how many left 
around 16 left right so hence plus or uh, minus 16 x cube and for 16 x cube i would be needing 16 times 50 that is 240 so plus 240 x square would be required okay now plus 240 x squared will be required but 240 were not there uh only 229 were there that means i have to subtract what um minus 11 if i'm not wrong minus 11 yes so i will write minus 11 x square and for 11 i need 165 so i need 165 x why i am doing this after in the next step it will become much clearer right so 165 x and what is left then guys I'm left with one x only, correct? So can I write that as um, x and then I need what? Minus 15 only, but there was 26. So hence to compensate, I will have to write 41, correct? Now you could have imagined why did I do all of this manipulation? So I, I am purposefully trying to uh, get x minus 15 as factor. So now the, from the first, two terms i can get x to the power 5 common and within brackets x minus 15 that is what my intention was in the next case again i can take minus 4 x to the power 4 common and then again i will get x minus 15 in the third pair right that is 9 x 4 and minus 135 x cube you can again get 9 x cubed common to get x minus 15 over there and then again minus 16 x squared will be common and you'll get x minus 15 once again followed by minus 11 common x minus 15 11 x common rather right and then plus x minus 15 plus 41 correct this is your fx and so you basically reduced the polynomial fx in terms of linear polynomial x minus 15 and some remainder now clearly what will be f15 so this is what was the objective so f15 is clearly x to the power 5 15 minus 15 or you know so whatever it is um, uh, let's say x to the power 5 itself will be what so i don't need to calculate all of these i will just write for the sake of understanding so 15 to the power 4 times 15 minus 15 plus 9 times 15 to the power cube 15 to power 3 minus and multiplied by 15 minus 15 minus 16 15 square 15 minus 15 and then minus 11 times 15 then 15 minus 15 so basically what i'm doing is wherever there is x i am deploying 15 over there because that is what is the value of polynomial fx at 15 x equals to 15 and then finally 41 here so if you notice there is nothing much to discover here so these are all zero so all these terms are becoming zero and then my calculation becomes much simpler so f15 is simply 41 right so the value of this big calculation here it will reduce to simply 41 right now because you see f15 everything gets cancelled out and only 41 is left so f15 is 41 so what is the learning learning is for such big polynomials if you could express uh, the entire polynomial in terms of uh, x minus 15 right then or whatever the case may be let's say tomorrow if you had to find out let's say the same thing at x equals to let's say at x equals to 20 then you will express the entire fx in terms of x minus 20 times some gx plus rx you will do and then what will happen f of 20 will simply be nothing but the remainder when the entire polynomial is divided divided by x minus 20 so f 20 will be simply r 20 okay so this is what you know is the application of remainder theorem once again and you can use this theorem for such bigger calculations as well